Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, uh, bringing you another tip for working in Chief Architect. This tip is somewhat related to layers, and as you can tell from my last couple videos, I'm very uh, passionate about layers, but uh, this one's kind of a, a uh, drawing sort of uh, CAD sort of thing. In Chief Architect, um, when you've got a situation where where one roof is being built over another roof. In plan view, um, you kind of want this roof here. You see I've selected this grayed out roof. You want it to remain here because then it builds the framing correctly and all the sections properly. But um, this roof that's got the gable going toward the rear is, um, is over the existing roof. The new, the new gable back here is going over the existing roof. So in plan view, this line, this horizontal line here, really should be a dashed line. So um, I do it. I do it like this. I'm going to click on my current CAD layer icon, which you can go to on your CAD menu, current CAD layer and I'm going to draw something on the roof layer. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard, and if I hit ROO quickly in succession, I'm going to find roof, and that's the layer I want. Now, I'm just going to type W on the keyboard to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line directly on top of that um, roof uh, object. Now I've got a solid CAD line on top of the uh, roof object, and I know I'm selected the solid CAD line. For one thing, I'm in the CAD line tool right now. You can see the CAD line tool is gray. And on the lower left hand corner of my screen, I've got a CAD line selected. If I open this and I change this to a white color and a dashed line, and I'm actually going to make it just a bit thicker than typical roof lines, uh, which is uh, my layer set is set on 50, so I'll say uh, 55. And escape. That looks like, right, a dashed, sort of a dashed line, and it's kind of the inverse of a dashed line. So you could do it like this. I'm going to create a... Uh, go into CAD, Lines, and create a line style. We'll call this whatever you want to call it. We'll call it uh, Inverse Hidden Line. Now, we're going to add a dash to it, right? Then we're going to add text as blank text. So I want, um, in, instead of having two dashes and a blank, I want a dash and two blanks. So I'm going to hit text again and delete that text. So in um, I could have a quarter inch long line. Let's say I want uh, let's say I want this to be an eighth of an inch long. So this line here that I'm creating as this dash is going to turn white. This part is what's going to turn white when we make it a white line, right? And I'm going to click OK. So I've got my white line that's going to cover up the roof layer and a longer dash here I could just I could delete this right let's remove this let's say this is a quarter of an inch long and it's the same as two eighth inch dash you know blank texts there's my dash or look I could make this 
a quarter inch there. So I have my dash and a quarter inch spacing. Eighth inch dash, a quarter inch spacing. That's the inverse of what it was, right? Because it was a quarter inch dash and an eighth inch spacing. Now I've done an eighth inch dash and a quarter inch spacing. So we'll call this inverse, inverse hidden line. Click OK. There's my hidden line style. Now I'm going to hit the W key on my keyboard again. Double click on it. Click on line style. And now my library in my user catalog is inverse hidden line. White still. Uh, let's get that right on top. And now it looks like I've got a green hidden line instead of a funky looking, you know, short, short looking. I could change that around. You know, you can you can change whatever you like. If we uh, right click on this and open object, you pull up this, you know, the same specification box here and uh, turn it on or, or change it. Um, you could change it to, let's say, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths. Change my line style. Now I probably need to go back into my library object and, and select that line again. There we go. I think I like that one better, where the dash and the blank are the same space. So what you're actually seeing come through, the white is the line I created. And the green is actually the, the roof object that um, it's supposedly covering up. But in these in this uh, space here, the green space, it's not actually covering up the green. So now we see the appropriate dashed line coming through, and that's the way I need it to look in plan view. There you go. A little bit of layers, a little bit of custom line types. Thanks for watching. Again, Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Check us out on designbuildsolutionsllc.com.